<laughs> oh, man. Maybe I have to try making this video again. The past few days I've been in a negative place and had a glitch in the matrix, but we have recovered. Get back to business as usual. I want to talk a little bit about our awareness and our desires. Being a self-awareness. You know, if you pay attention to babies, and that's that's what we are. We all were babies at one time. But babies, they they it seems like they don't realize that this hand is that's coming toward their face. They haven't figured out that it's their hand. They're not aware of that. Even their feet, they they try to bite their foot, and <laughs> it's just amazing. Even dogs, puppies do that. It's like, oh, why are you biting your own feet? But they figure out, ooh, that hurts every time I bite it. So that that must belong to me. So that's a part of the self awareness. And sometimes we can get involved with things of the world and negative things and. We don't realize that we are inflicting things on ourselves. It, it, when you get up at me, when I get upset, my blood pressure goes up. But I forget that this anger and negativity is what's doing it to me. I lose my sense of self-awareness. So, and even in that situation, you lose your desires and your focus is totally different. And... I don't want to focus on negative things and just have to learn and move on. But I want to read um, a couple of paragraphs. This is what we learned in metaphysical school, school of metaphysics. And it wasn't that it was boring. <clears throat> it started costing a little bit too much money. But you were learning. You really were learning. And this is a lesson on expanded awareness and fulfillment of desires. I'm just going to read a couple of paragraphs. Everyone has desires. Everyone has certain ideas they desire to fulfill. Peace, happiness, bliss, security, harmony, prosperity, efficient thinking, intuition, and enlightenment are few of the desires we value. Some of you may be may identify more with one of these qualities than the other. However, at some level, we all desire something. This is because the inner self, the real self, is continually sending an inner urge to our outer conscious self reminding us of our duty for being in a physical body and in a physical environment. These methods of learning, growth, and self-development have been taught to thousands and thousands of people for over 20 years. They have been found to be effective in aiding the student in his or her growth and progression toward leading a fuller, more rewar rewarding, satisfying life. We find happiness and joy in helping others along the path of learning and growth because each instructor of these classes have practiced and applied these truths, finding them to be effective and beneficial in producing the fulfillment of desires. And you know, that's what we we all want that. We all have desires. And I know mine have kind of dwindled down and I don't know, you can you can be mm, sick. You know, I've been, I've been uh ill since what 2007. So that's pretty good while wow, to deal with pain. So my desire changed from material 
to I, I, uh, the physical. I want to be well. And I'm doing better. So now I can focus my desires on something else. And it, it's got to be something that's, you know, reasonable. And, you know, this, it can happen. But I have to focus and decide what I want. Because we all, we are magicians. And we are, look at what we've done. We've created our whole world. We not, may not like it, but we created it. We are gods and we create our world. We have choices. And the choices that we uh, make, they produce. It may be uh, a purple flower in this choice. And you say, oh, I don't like purple. But you can go back and make another choice. As long as you live, you can make choices. And that's the good thing. You can fix it. The whole Your whole life can be fixed. And uh, what's her name? Yala Van Zandt can't fix your life. She can give you advice as to how you can fix it. But only you can fix your life. Because only you know your true desires. Some people, I don't know, people do intervention for their family members that's doing bad or addictions and stuff. But until that person has that desire to fix his life, it's just a waste of time. But the God self comes in and the higher self has to, and it does, it comes in. And the lower self, has to surrender and the the middle self is the more gentler uh mind and it's not hard on it but the, the super conscious mind no it does not hold a conversation with you it doesn't baby you it says very few things and if if the higher self says yes to you, you have found favor. But there are many times when I was on a wrong path, the uh, higher self, hit, the answer was always no, because I was wrong, totally wrong. And it doesn't work like that. So we have to get ourselves in control, the ego, me, myself, and I. That, that, that ego is, I mean, you could be doing real bad, and the ego still puff up and say, oh, you ain't doing as bad as others. At, at least you, you you got your money for your dope. They ain't got no money. They prostituting, so you doing okay. Oh, I can tell you some stories, man. But I'm going to get ready to close because this is a short video because I want to come back and we'll complete this about the desires. And don't forget the meditation because when you want to get your desires stimulated you have to relax and go to a place and just relax and breathe and let the soul just linger and deal with reality and take you where you need to be because there is a place there is a secret place and nobody knows what that place is but you. There is a secret place, so you have to go there and be in peace. And you don't have to stay there long. I had two minutes, five minutes, ten minutes, but realize that that is your place. And don't forget it. We're going to do the little spin, the book of answers. I have had a few questions past couple of days and my desires and this is just a game I mean you don't, don't take this stuff serious my question is am I improving by rekindling my desires <laughs> It will be a pleasure.
So on that note, it's going to be a pleasure. And I'll come back tomorrow or the next day. But I will be back. Bye.